Hey y'all, and welcome to my channel, Eugenia Speaks. I am Eugenia, <laughs> and today I will be sharing with you some very, very, very good information in regards to how to eliminate, eliminate, <laughs> menstrual cycle cramps. Y'all, let me start off by saying um, I have researched this topic for so long. I, I don't want to say that I have the key. I have the formula. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But the cycle that I just had versus all the ones I had before, um, opposed to the year that I was a vegetarian, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I'm speechless. <laughs> like, I don't even know what word <laughs> that I can use that would express my excitement, my joy, and relief. <sighs> Such a good topic to talk about. But before we get into it deep, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please like this video. And if you're able to comment, please leave a comment. And also, uh, share. Because women, we, we got to help each other, okay? We got to help each other. So, the five things I did <laughs> the last 30 days, and this is no lie, no cap, to eliminate my menstrual cycles. And not only that, but I decreased the amount of clots, blood clots I normally have. I know that's too much, y'all, but this is real. This is some real stuff. I did five different things. First thing is, I started working out. Um, I'm not really sure how working out can contribute to a menstrual cycle, um, other than just my common sense, which would be, you know, it's a stress reliever, and you know, it can help with weight loss. It also helps with blood circulation and, and oxygen levels, and um, you know, it's just it's healthy for your body to move in different ways every day. So not really sure of the connection between exercise and menstrual cycle but definitely do your research on that there's definitely a connection and also by the way <laughs> i am not a medical physician i am not an rn i am not a nurse practitioner not a medical physician i am not an rn i am not a nurse practitioner i have a counseling case management and teaching background so, yeah, this is just a disclaimer, all right? First thing was exercise. Second thing was I did change my eating habits. I had a wonderful, wonderful doctor that I used to see in Dallas when I lived in Dallas at the Native American Clinic, because I'm part Native American. I went to a Native American clinic, and there was a doctor there. I honestly can't think of her name, but I, I need to really send her a thank you card, <laughs> to be honest. Because she is the one that actually educated me on um, choosing a vegetarian diet. She linked um, hormones, menstrual health issues with the meat that I consume or we consume. There is a correlation. Um, also, she just told me a lot of natural things to use. And um, one of the things that she mentioned... Chlorophyll. This is number three, y'all. Chlorophyll has changed my life. Number one, I deal I deal with anemia. So for me, any way I can get in green vegetables or green supplements is a plus for me. What I have done is I take a little cup about this big and I drop three droplets in, fill it up to the top with water, and I drink that three times a day. Um, the actual, well, this says 15 drops in water one to three times a day. So I'm going to assume that's if you're using a larger glass, but again, mine was small. So what chlorophyll does for the body is that, um, it's a green molecule found in plants that absorbs sunlight, um, during photosynthesis and converts it to energy. So it's been said 
that chlorophyll can help a human body by detoxifying the blood. It can get rid of odors that you have. <laughs> okay. Um, it helps with wound healing, gut health, energy, immune system, and it could be a cancer prevention type of thing. So, y'all, <laughs> get on that chlorophyll. You don't get on nothing else. All right. Number four, the fourth thing that I started using was vitamin D3. Now, um, vitamin D3 is supposed to help with bone support, teeth, muscles, and immune system. Um, I read somewhere that there's a correlation between this and menstrual cycle. Maybe it has something to do with, you know, because sometimes our body is, is really achy. I didn't have any of those aches and pains like I normally do this go round. So maybe this is what contributes to that part. Last but not least, vitamin K. Okay, vitamin K, um, I mean, according to the, the bottle, um, can also help with uh, bone health, but uh, according to Google, <laughs> um, it also helps with blood clotting, helping your wounds to heal, and things of that nature. So it's kind of similar, you know, I guess to um, the chlorophyll and the vitamin D3. I think they're kind of all kind of similar, but they're different. And so, y'all, last month my cycle was so bad, I was in the bed a whole day, damn near in tears. Like, I had plans to go out with my friends. I literally text them like I don't think I'm gonna be able to go it was that bad the pain was so horrible I ended up falling asleep <laughs> that's crazy that's some serious pain if it just knock you out <laughs> it just knock your ass out oh my god baby that's some pain okay I said I could not go through that again so I put together this concoction y'all I'm speechless <laughs> I'm speechless I don't know what to say seriously I had lesser clots this time, no cap, no muscle pains or aches, body pains and aches, no cap. I didn't crave anything crazy like I normally crave uh, sugary foods or chocolates or junk food. That part did not happen. I did have a little bit more energy. I did notice that. Um, my cycle might have even been a little bit lighter. I don't know, it seemed like it might have been a little bit lighter. And no cramps whatsoever. Zero cramps, y'all. I'm somebody that usually has to take six to eight Advils. No cap. <laughs> no lie. I didn't have to take not one. So, I'm going to let y'all go. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all go. But do what you will with this information. But if I were you, I would at least try it. I mean, what's the harm in it? It's all natural substances, and these are all natural alternatives. Exercising, uh, vegetarian or pescatarian diet, vitamin K, uh, vitamin D3, and chlorophyll drops. So, thank you for tuning in. Um, I appreciate you. I love you all. I wish you all well, okay? I wish you well. <laughs> um, and I will, I will talk to you all next time. Thank you. Bye.